Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for grade 2. We are learning unit 14. Its title is The Honest Girl. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. And my dear students, today under the title of listening and speaking, we are going to learn different communicative functions. Before this, in your English for grade 1, I have taught you different communicative functions through body language. Use appropriate body language for different communicative functions. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again because this practice is going to help us to learn further to use appropriate body language for different communicative functions. So, appropriate body language for communicative functions. Demonstrate common conventions and dynamics of oral interaction in group to participate in conversation. These are our today's SLOs. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Mujadila, verse 7. There is in no private conversation three, but that he is the fourth of them. Nor are there five, but that he is the sixth of them. And no less than that, and no more except that he is with them in knowledge wherever they are. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us there is no private conversation. Whatever you are talking, if three of you are talking, fourth with you is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is listening each and everything. That's why beta, whatever we say, we should always say nicely. We should always use nice words because Allah is listening, right? Okay, my dear students. So, inshallah, we are learning another way of talking today. And that is, uh, before that, you tell me, how do you engage someone in conversation? Means, you are talking, a group of people uh, is sitting there. How you make everyone to participate in that conversation? And what do you know about body language? If I say body language, what do you understand by it? Pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you could answer correctly how we engage. We engage others in conversation by appropriate body language and offering and sharing stuff. We offer like and whatever we say, we always use good words and we remember our good manners. Please talk to us. Even if you want someone to talk to you, please talk to me. Please look at me. Please take this from me. Please give that. This is how we talk to each other, right? This is how we make others to participate in conversation, right? Okay. And when we say body language, it is a range of nonverbal signals that you can use to communicate your feelings and intentions. And now we know it very well because yesterday we talked about pantomime. Remember? So, we were not saying anything and we were just showing through gestures. Now, beta, whatever we say, it reflects from our body language. Like if I am saying, wow, so I am showing it through my gesture as well. This is called body language and it includes your posture, your facial expressions, your hands gestures. Okay. So it should same. Like I am saying, wow, oh, I am happy. Am I saying this correct thing? No, because my body language, my voice expression does not match with what I am saying. That is why what you say, it should match with your expression, your body language. Wow, I'm happy, right? So, we show it through our words, through our body language. This is called body language, which we use for communicative purpose. Okay. Now, let's see a few examples. Look at this. If you look at this boy, 
what expression you are getting he is happy his body language his smile his face is telling he is happy and now look at him he is sad he is with down shoulders with you know long face this is telling he is not happy rather he is sad this is what the body language means okay the other you see look at i am feeling what he is feeling i am feeling happy right this is what he is trying to convey through his body language what he is saying oh there is something i am feeling sad without saying anything all right now yes we do it a lot i'm hungry oh yummy i, I want to eat something i'm hungry okay so, do we say do it yes i'm thirsty but we should know to use proper body language for proper gestures so that our, our message should get across correctly i'm feeling tired i'm tired of doing this task okay and Oh, there is something. There is something. I'm scared. Right? Do we do it? Yes, we do it. Okay. So now, my, my dear children, this is how we show our, our feelings through our body language. And as I told you, it should match with our words. So here is a group of children. They are talking to each other. They are for Anabia, Sadaf, Vanisa, and Huzefa. What they are talking and how are they talking? Let's find out. Here we go. Sadaf is saying, you can share my sandwich. You can share my sandwich. So when you are offering someone, offer it in a night. You can share my sandwich with a smile. Okay. Next, she's saying, thank you. I'm eating an apple for lunch. Okay. So Nabia was offering and Sadaf is replying, thank you. I'm eating an apple for lunch. Now there is another and uh, Sadaf have some soup with me. Now, Josefa is offering soup to Sadaf and Vaniza is saying, Anabia, eat some healthy snack with me. Now, beta, this is what, uh, this is uh, because lunch time and they are participating in conversation about food. So, whatever the conversation is, we should offer others, we should make others to participate with us in that conversation in a nice way, with positive attitude, with a smile, with nice words. This is what we are going to practice. So, are you clear with the concept? Okay. So, I brought an activity for you. What we are going to do? Your teacher will divide class in groups and teacher will ask the students to come in front of the class and use polite expressions to engage in conversation using appropriate body language. And I suggest teacher, you can give a scenario to every group so that they, they know what about what we are going to talk. Okay, so pause the video, enjoy the activity. Every one of you is going to participate in the activity. So after you are done with your activity, please come back. Yes, my dear children, as you turn with it, good job. I hope you enjoy. And better uh, every time I tell you, whatever we are learning, do practice it in your routine life in this nice manner, the way we are learning, okay? So, I'm giving you your homework. You are going to practice polite expression to engage in conversation. At home, you are going to practice it. And here I'm giving you a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. So, what we have learned today, we learn to use appropriate body language for different communicative functions and demonstrate common conventions and dynamics of oral interaction in group to participate in conversation. Are we done with it? Yes. So, that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning. Keep practicing and take very really good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.